Hello everyone, it's Sarah. I uh, wanted to share my old Curiosity Shop mini album. Now, the construction of this is um, cardstock. It's cardstock construction. And I got the tutorial from YouTube. It's Paper, <laughs> Paper Crafter 45. And she calls the series Mama, M-A-M-A, -M -A, make a mini album. There's uh, nine parts to it, but it's a very clear, easy to follow tutorial um, of how to construct this mini album. So I just wanted to say that. Then the actual design um, I got from Zanero One, Anna, and Anna's Paper Creations. Her YouTube video is Graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop mini album and she just goes through the whole album on that one so you can see what she did but there is an actual how to build a photo mini album with Graphic, graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop paper collection and there's 18 parts to that one. Um, she also makes a cabinet to put it in. She's amazing. Um, so I got that out of the way but I just wanted to share this. I'll, pretty much all of these ideas I get from Anna. Um, she's a big fussy cutter. Uh, she doesn't use a lot of embellishments like store-bought embellishments. She loves Tim Holtz and everything though. Um, so for my cover, I basically just used a, a polka dot piece for background, a, a background paper of the old Curiosity Shop and just fussy cut out a bunch of the different images from the collection and made it kind of like a collage, um, cover. I don't know. I, I'm really happy with it though. I put the title and just different things. I used a little glossy accents and some stickles on a few of the items to give it a little dimension. Um, and then basically just put them, set them how I wanted them. And um, that's my cover. I did do a little uh, charm dangle with some, I don't know, random stuff. A clock, a bird, a little message with a bottle, bottle with a message, whatever. And then the back is just plain. So inside, the construction is pretty cool, but all of these ideas, again, I got from Anna. She, her, it's not exactly how she did it, but because hers was a much bigger album, it was longer and taller. Um, and so I just kind of did what she did in my own size. So look at this. This is her, uh, her little thing. She fussy cuts out this and puts it at the top of the cabinet. And then this is actually held with a magnet, and it's a little uh, photo mat in there. Um, all of the embellishments are basically from the paper, you know. So she fussy cuts out something and puts it on there in this pocket. She makes these little uh, photo mats to fit in pockets and tags from the paper collection. Um, I actually made this. I you know, I can think of some stuff myself, but <laughs> they kept tipping over like when I was putting them in the pocket. So I just made this little holder for them. Put a little eye there. And then the original construction of these pages had a flap, but by the time I had put everything in here, I couldn't fit it. So I had to cut off some of my flaps. Um, and I have them in a drawer over there, but it's just another little booklet with some tags and photo, um, what are they called? Photo mats in there. And then this is the one pig's fly paper, so cute. Little tag, but you, she just fussy cuts around here and then makes a pocket. And then this page is just a pocket page with a, a big photo mat. And then this little tag swivels. What does this one have? That's just a plane. I left that plain. This one's cool though. Fussy cut out this lady and then made a little place to stick this photo mat underneath. And I, I tried to do some glossy accents on little highlight items. This is a good page. This is like a three-sided pocket page. And just a big photo mat goes in there in the back. And what is this? This is just some more of the paper. Oh, look. She has this little, cut out this fly. And I think she puts um, matte medium on all of her fussy cut pieces. She thinks it makes them stronger. I've tried it and sometimes it makes mine mushy. So I don't know, but I have, the, I think this one definitely has like a, some type of matte medium on it. And then these two little pieces of uh, the photo of the um, paper pack. So 
Then this one's from the Apothecary Papers. There's another big tag and photo mat here. Not a tag, a photo mat. This is connected, but I just put him over that. It doesn't come off. This is a little flap here. And I fussy cut out all these bottles and like put them on top of each other to make it three dimensional and put the apothecary paper there. So that's that page. And then this page is again Anna's ideas. Oops, I think I used um, my G ATC and sometimes the uh, I she uses um, scotch adhesive, which I definitely like now. I've gotten into this and I use it a lot more than I ever used to. I used to use my ATG. But, like, I guess I did put her down with the ATG, and sometimes, like, that, it, there's a little stickiness. But, anyway, she used glossy accents to make the mirror, to make it look shiny like a mirror. She actually does one where she cuts this out, like, the background, and puts, like, silvery paper behind it so that it can look like a mirror. And then just cut this to make a little tag holder. This one is all fussy cutout numbers. Then she glues them down to a piece of black cardstock. And then fussy cuts around them and makes this pocket with that. And I just put this on the top of that. And there's two photo mats here with the paper again. This is just, I think I'm getting to where it's not getting as tricky. All my tricks are in the beginning and I'm just like, wow, I don't know. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to cut out all this stuff. I just glued that on for decoration. This is a pretty page. I love this paper. And it's just a photo mat with a couple of glossy accented butterflies. And then a pocket here. It's not a pocket. It's like a strip there with a couple more um, photo mats. This is a little booklet. It's all fussy cut out of the paper. So I love Graphic 45. I wish I hadn't missed out on the steampunk type. <laughs> you can't get it. You can't get Why do they do away with these gorgeous papers? Like... You can use them over and over and over. Well, this is a cool one. This one, I didn't like how it originally came out, but I just, I put a magnet under here and, I don't know, put that there so that photo mat stays in with a magnet. Um, oh, look, this is one of her tricks. Come on, there you go. You could put a secret message under there or a photo. But she just, like, attaches it with a... I'm telling you, this woman is amazing. And then this is just another little. Now we're just getting plain again. <laughs> the paper speaks for itself. I mean, you don't really need to do all that fancy stuff, but it's just another photo mat in this little booklet here. Oh, it's three, three photo mat booklet. And then the back page. It's just very simple. I love this paper. I was hoarding this paper for a while. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. And I just glossy accented the um, dragonfly. Oh, no, no. Stickles. Glossy accents. And just glued this on. So pretty. So, again, the construction. I just want to have like a minute left. But this one I made with the ladies' diary paper. This shows actually all of the flaps and the pockets that um the design see this there's a flap here i didn't put that in the other one because i ha it was too thick and i could it di i didn't like the way it closed and then this it has this too this flip up and then this flip out so for whatever reason it just seemed to fit in this one i had more room to put things and i could leave one so this again there's a pocket then this is going to have wait where is it the flap oh, maybe I did cut it off a couple oh here it is this flap so but I mean I kind of I, I think I changed it but it's it's the basic construction that um, paper crafter 45 has in her tutorial um, and she used a die cuts with a view um, paper stack I think oh here's the look here's the mirror look here's the mirror idea she had I just used it on this one instead yeah, she's amazing, Anna, Paper Crafter 40, I mean, not Paper Crafter 40, Zanero 1, she's just, like, I don't know where these ideas come from, but thank God, because I copy off of her, so anyway, that's my, um, ladies' diary, alright guys, that's it, I'm out of time, thanks for watching.